Pam McGallery invited me to respond to the work of, you know, Ash Marlene Hain. They asked me if I would be interested in her work and in doing some performance dance around um, her pieces. I love the opportunity of working in an alternative space, so I looked at her work online and I said, sure. When I came into the studio, into the gallery, because we did all re our rehearsals here in the gallery, I began with the gesture in her prints and the idea of printmaking. And we looked at those processes, processes, the etching and the use of acid and the use of limestone and the sponging across and the circular movement. And so we looked at the actions of printmaking and the ideas of repulsion, oil and water, repuls repulsing each other. And, and then I had the dancers improvise using gestures that we had come up with from the prints, improvising on the printmaking process, physicalizing it, and then mixing those together and moving the gestures and seeing you know, what came out of that mix. And then I made choices. This is my most recent body of work and it's called Conditions and it, this is like, I feel like my first really cohesive, kind of mature body of work that I'm really excited about. These are self-portraits. Um, they aren't necessarily, I don't feel as though it's a replication of me. I feel more it's a character of myself. I started with a lithograph called Conditions, which is about having your voice taken away from you slowly slowly being conditioned to be more quiet, slowly being conditioned to ask less questions, slowly being conditioned to be less of a person. In printmaking, we can make many versions of the same thing. Most people make 15 of the exact same thing. I make 15 that are slightly different, each one progressing. Either I'm actively removing something from the plate that I'm printing on as I'm printing or adding to it or whatnot. And with conditions, I slowly took away the mouth. Um, and so that really started me thinking about how to approach that concept, but with a larger body of work. The gestures are extremely specific, um, and they all have to do with, they generate from an in, inside feeling, and sort of a feeling of being covered, or a feeling of, of considering, of pulling yourself in, or of, of making yourself available. And, um, and it's really great to see how Judith actually used these gestures, because I had made them first, and she really took it and ran with it. We use Haynes' idea of repetition, and so as we repeat some of this gestural stuff, or use some of the colors, there's the costuming picks up the colors in the room. I did that on purpose. So I think that both pieces resonate her pieces and my piece, speak back and forth to each other. I'm not trying to do something super radical with my work. I'm kind of trying to walk a line. And I was talking to Judith about this. You know, whatever she does is fine. She can be, she can push it as far as she wants to. And the whole point is to create a larger dialogue between the dance movement and my work.